about was tonight's AEW show, and I'm not sure exactly what you ran down there when it came to the show tonight. Did you have a chance to speak about the Owen Hart Cup and some of the things that they have planned for that tonight? No, I did not name any of those details. I was just about to, but the only thing I did mention was the Tony Khan is teasing uh, major announcements and a major surprise tonight on Dynamite, and his track record on delivering announcements and surprises is unparalleled. So that alone has my attention, and then we can run down that amazing card. Yeah, a- absolutely. And, you know, they they have mentioned on Twitter and in other places they have put this out that tonight they are going to have a very special video on the Owen Hart Cup tournament, which will include stars of multiple generations speaking about his legacy. And what will be very cool for, I think, a lot of wrestling fans out there, I think some of us olds take this for granted because... You know, mm-hmm. we, we've had a chance to see a lot of Owen in New Japan Pro Wrestling, but I think for a lot of people uh, who get a chance to see Owen Hart mix it up with Jushin Liger or or however they're, you know, so many guys uh, the, of that generation, one of the greatest generations of New Japan junior heavyweights that ever at that time when he was there, uh, they're going to be showing some of that too, including uh, and as well as private movies that Martha Hart uh, wow. is allowing to be to be aired so this is going to be a a very emotional surely and a very educational night i think for a lot of people that you know owen has been it's been a long time now 1998 and we have so many of our listeners and and viewers of this show that i mean they were born in the 2000s so they you know they know the story of what happened to owen hart but i don't think they really know in some ways you know who he was or how great his legacy is in the ring because unless you saw that new japan stuff and you only go off the wwe stuff which is great you know a lot of it you know you don't really know how how impactful and how revolutionary of a guy he was and how wonderful is it that now his his true legacy w- with the cooperation and the spirit of of his family and and and, and all the platforms that AEW can provide and to bring this this Owen Hart Cup uh for for male and female performers like it, it's it's really just fabulous the whole the whole thing is fabulous absolutely and they have a Britt Baker, Tony Schiavone Christmas party, which is going to be set <laughs> up. And I don't know if you saw the little control center segment that Tony Schiavone did where he invited on his former tag team partner in the booth, David Crockett, to come on. And Tony did mention that he may be bringing the mistletoe. And uh, he was kind of poked by David there a little bit. And I don't know if that's really all that good of an idea, considering Adam Cole has not been in a good mood recently, going back and forth with the best friends. And he will face off against Orange Cassidy tonight, as well as the TBS tournament semifinals between Nyla Rose and Ruby Soho, as well as Griff Garrison going for some revenge on Malachi Black. And that will all lead to the main event that I am very much interested in. MJF. Uh, you think? Uh, yeah, a lot, just, just a little bit. MJF and FTR against Sting, CM Punk, and Darby Allen. Sting's first match in Greensboro, North Carolina in 27 years. Wow. Man, it is a long time and even crazier. 34 years ago is when he faced off against Ric Flair, which means 35 years ago is when Jim Crockett Promotions bought the UWF and they got Sting. And it is it is wild that he is still going right now. It is going to be a wild scene for sure, I I would assume, in Greensboro. And boy, surprises being promised. I know there are a lot of people last week that were hoping that the Briscoes would kind of pop out there at the end and be that surprise, but it ended up being Sting and Darby Allen, which makes complete sense to lead into the match in Greensboro tonight. But Kevin, you know, it's the, the massive speculation station sometimes when it comes to AEW. They have a lot of tools at their disposal and a lot of people and surprises that they could try to pull off tonight would now be a good time for the GCW World Head World Tag Tag team champions to make their first appearance in AEW? It very well could be. The Briscoe brothers, Dem Boys, have been on a roll. And Mike, you followed their career uh, from a very up close perspective for a very long time. <laughs> and not only have those guys not lost a step, but the the level that they perform at is unprecedented. And in a way, as Ring of Honor has had its own challenges, it felt like less and less of the world got to be as 
hands-on familiar with the Briscoes' greatness. And now the world's attention is back on the Briscoes. The biggest audience possible is seeing the Briscoes. It, 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 it's about to blow up, in my opinion. The Briscoes are, are that damn good. And that, that why not? That, no time better than now. And with the challenges of the holiday season and the ratings, let's blow tonight up and, and see how it does. I think that's a great strategy. And if I may, Mike, real quick, you talked about Sting returning to Greensboro. Uh, there's a lot of missed opportunities in the wrestling business. One of the biggest missed opportunities of this generation was Sting not winning his big match at WrestleMania and then doing that big tour with WWE and coming to all these towns and wrestling one last time and appearing and all that. But instead, AEW is there to make the tactical move and and the feel-good vibes for the holidays, man. It really, really is. And I would assume that a lot of old traditions are going to be on display or at least a lot of old old fuzzy war memories uh, I, it would be hard for me to believe that there's not going to be i mean tully blanchard is right there i mean so many of those guys that not only are in the ring but work for i mean you forget about how many guys that now work for AEW behind the scenes that grew up as in the Jim Crockett promotions era and in that, especially in that Dusty Rhodes era uh, of being the booker there where we got Flair and we got Dusty and we got the Horsemen and Sting and so many of these other great memories. And it is going to be fascinating to see how they weave all of that into the show tonight. It is Wrestling Observer Live today. I'm Oreo the Orca. Do you have a blowhole rating system? Like, if you're really excited about a match, it gives you yeah, this, six squirts. This match was was uh, two and three-quarter holes, if you must know. So I was watching this show, and they had a bunch of videos for this Liv Morgan about how, oh, my whole life I've been a wrestling fan. Oh, I'm going to win my first title ever. There's children cheering and going, oh, oh, oh. you know what I'm saying? Okay. I do indeed. <laughs> hey, Danhausen, can you hear us? Yes, can you hear Danhausen? Hey! Look at that holy hey. mother of God. Look what we've done here. You broke a leg. Is that true? Uh, it was broken in half, snapped in two. The doctor said it was a tibia and a fibula. Uh, I'm a whale and not a doctor, but is it not a fibula and not a fibia? A fibula? What I know. Perhaps what? the doctor lied to Dan Housen. You know, Dan Housen, if you were a whale, you wouldn't have broken your leg. This is true because whales don't have legs. What did you grow up watching as a little evil man? Kane ripping off the door when he debuted. Yes. How old were you, Dan Helsen, when that match took place? Oh, about, uh, what was that, 1997, so about 700 years old. Oh. Also, one time Dan Helsen had Dolph Ziggler's theme song as his alarm, and it went off in class. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yes, it's true. Dan Helsen likes Dolph Ziggler. You like Dolph Ziggler? He's good matches. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.